Hello, hello, welcome back. One of our subscribers actually suggested to take a look at Lanthus Holdings. This is a pharmaceutical company, it operates in the healthcare sector and the industry is diagnostics and research. It's a Massachusetts company, so it's US. And you will see that it is a small company, it has 600 employees about. And the beta is close to one, so it's kind of moving similar to the, what the market is doing. And it's a 2015 IPO, as you'll see here. You'll see some information about the company here. They manufacture, develop and commercialize diagnostic and therapeutic products that assist clinicians in the diagnosis and treatment of heart cancer and other diseases worldwide. All right. So let's take a look at the company. Before we do that, I want you to know about the new module that I was working on and it's actually complete right now. Very, very useful, I feel, the fact that you can actually see the earnings transcripts for all the quarters that the company has uh, actually submitted those and you can kind of browse through the browse through them and uh, pretty much uh, take a look and uh, read e each one of these transcripts if you want. Now one of the things that I'm aiming to do in the future is actually get these transcripts and uh, take them through a natural language processor that will actually discover automatically discover through AI what are the important points of this and actually try to deduce information. This is going to be a project that's going to be happening in the next few months or so, but I just wanted to let you know, like, so that you are aware of it, of what's going on with the tool. I'm constantly adding things. I like working on the tool a lot. This is one of the things that I really like working on. And so I'm adding modules all the time. Now the stock analysis chart is coming up next. And as you'll see here, the company has been hitting higher recently. And from its one year high, it's actually at about the same level. And if you take it to the max, we're sitting at a max, max, max price. It's actually great that the company has been doing pretty, pretty awesome right now. All right. So the next thing we're going to examine the financials because we need to know whether it's actually worthwhile purchasing the company where it is. And you will see that the PE ratio is negative here, pointing to a company that is losing money in terms of its net income. It used to be positive, so now it turned negative. And that's a little bit surprising to see that the company is actually hitting higher here. Very interesting. Now, the price to free cash flow ratio, hmm, it is going down a little bit from what it used to be over here. So I do take uh, much, much more interest in the free cash flow than, uh, the, uh, than the earnings, the price to earnings ratio. However, I want them to be similar because if you, do, if you have negative earnings and, sim and positive free cash flow uh, over here, a positive free price to free cash flow ratio, then something is going on. There's something, something has to give. So the company is resorting to something in order to, to have this kind of positive uh, free cash flow ratio, price to free cash flow ratio. And it could actually be happening because they have uh, stock-based compensation, depreciation and things of that, thing, of that sort added back to their cash flow statement. We're going to examine that in order to make sure to actually understand what is happening there. Now, another bad thing here, outstanding sales that keep increasing and uh, rather massively here from uh, 37 billion million to, to almost uh, 70 million. Company is taking advantage of this, the increasing stock price. That's something that I don't like to see because we're having almost double the amount of outstanding sales here. The free, the free cash flow to total liabilities ratio is about 10, which means that it would take about 10 years for the company to pay back all its total liabilities using last year's free cash flow. Okay, that's uh, a little bit too much, but uh, it doesn't mean that I'm not buying the company because of this one. The revenue growth is uh, positive, it's been increasing, it has been the same, about the same in many years. It's last year that it increased massively. And uh, the five year net income growth is going down though, and that is worrying. Now the free cash flow is going higher, but it, it did go down. We will examine those in detail. And the total equity is also increasing, I'm assuming, because of the outstanding shares, because the company has been issuing shares like crazy. And the return on equity and all that is negative because of the negative net income, of course. A little bit of an elevated price to book, but that is not my, my main concern here. I really, really want to examine the company's financial statement here and the company's statements. I want to see in detail what they are doing. And you will see that the net income is negative and uh, the revenue has been increasing here and uh, the, gross, the gross profit has been increasing as well but uh, the operating income is in the minus here as you'll see increasing operating expenses is probably the reason for that as you'll see the company used to have operating expenses uh, near 100 million and now they have almost doubled that 
this is probably why we got a much uh, much much lower net income here it's negative now we have negative uh, net income we will examine the cash flow statement later but let's take a look at the balance sheet because I really want to see the total assets and liabilities of the company this is a small company remember so we're looking at total assets of 100 million and total liabilities of 400 million which is uh, gives a total equity of the company uh, for the company of about 400 million but take a look at the additional paid in capital this keeps increasing and it is money that uh, the company got because stockholders actually bought stock and so as you can see all the equity in this company is about stockholders buying the stock and not about the company making profit that's very very important and it's something that i typically really really hate to see from a company now again the net income was negative over here but you will see some positive uh, values added back the stock-based compensation the depreciation and amortization and uh, some other non-cash items are also added back and this is what uh, gives us net cash flow provided by operating activities which is positive here and this is how we're getting positive free cash flow because after ex after actually um, uh, subtracting subtracting the capital expenditures that the company had over here you are getting about 41 million which is a positive number but again this is because of the depreciation and amortization for the most part and uh, for the most part and and the stock based compensation so this is what makes it positive so practically speaking the company doesn't really really make free cash flow it's about the, these items added back to the free cash flow statement because they are not cash expenses, but they are expenses. And this is why you are looking at a negative net income in the income statement. Very, very important things to know about. And hopefully I can, you know, I can actually kind of show you how this works and you can actually kind of see it clearly here with the financial statements reporting here with a table. I think it's very neat the way it's displayed here. So the next thing, I'm going to take a look at the stock evaluation tool. Is there any merit in actually buying this at its current price? Let's take a look. Now, the revenue has been increasing, although for a small company, it hasn't been increasing much. And so we have to go low, like 2, 3 and 4 percent makes sense. The net income margins, uh, only the five year average is uh, positive here. That's because the last couple of years uh, it has been doing badly. And so I'm going to go with something low, like 2, 3, and 4. I kind of have to. And the free cash flow margin over here, again, this past couple of years, maybe it's the pandemic, it, they have been negative. But typically, the company makes near 100. Uh, this is the other one out, of course. So I'm going to go with something that is rather typical, 80, 80, 90, and 100 here. And 13% is going to be my annual return. And so if I hit calculate you'll see that we're getting a price to pay today that is much much lower than the current price this is massively elevated and so this is why i wouldn't uh, actually enter this company it's a massive bet they're not doing that well in terms of financials and uh, they really really have to increase their actual net income which is uh, which has turned positive negative over here and even though i'm using positive values here and positive growth and uh, net income margin still we're getting uh, a very 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 low price here and so this would be a massive leap of faith actually buying at this price uh, the company is right now it seems to be massively overvalued and you can kind of get that from the price to free cash flow here and the pay ratio being negative it kind of kind of tells you that it is overvalued but now we kind of also know by how much and so yeah this company will have to go down massively in order for me to potentially think about uh, adding into my portfolio uh, over here it was like 11 over here it was like two this is where i would want to buy it <laughs> actually not here this is what i think it's worth right now uh, to tell you the truth about about these uh, values over here all right so i hope you enjoyed the video this was a subscriber suggestion hope that uh, kind of gave you a little bit of information about what i think uh, for this company and please uh, for all of you guys that are watching leave a like and subscribe very, very soon I will know, let you know how to get access to this tool in about a month or so. So you may want to stick around and uh, wait for it to happen. And in the meantime, take a look at this video that I made earlier. It is about Alibaba. I'm discussing the details, the finer details about what the company is doing and what we're expecting from it in the next few months. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you soon. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. Bye-bye.